The New Hampshire Civil Liberties Union says they are not seeking an immediate ruling from a judge before Tuesday's election, but they do consider this a high priority. They say the new law completely bans a necessary form of political speech and they're willing to fight for it. When Brandon Ross went into the ballot booth during this year's primary, he voted and then decided to take one extra step. Was looking down my ballot, thought, I should just snap a picture of this. Ross, who's a candidate for state representative, then posted that photo to Facebook 10 days later. He, along with another New Hampshire voter, are now being investigated. I think it's really troubling that the Attorney General's office is investigating people at all for this. The new rule is built off an old law that prohibits people from taking pictures of a marked ballot. The idea is to stop people from selling their vote and having the evidence to prove it. An update that went into effect this past September includes digital images and bans the display of a person's marked ballot on social media. People who do so could face a $1,000 fine. This law, at the end of the day, bans pure political speech that is the most valued under the First Amendment. The New Hampshire Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit Friday challenging the law. Political speech that has no relationship to voter corruption, which was the whole reason why this law was apparently passed in the first place. He says voters should be able to discuss their experience at the polls through pictures, including who they voted for, if they wish. We can expect a response from the state, likely in two months' time. Uh, there'll be discovery in this case, and eventually we will ask a judge to issue a permanent injunction striking this law down. It is just political speech in, in, the, in the general scheme of things. People should be free to post that if they want to. The Attorney General's office tells News 9 they are reviewing the lawsuit and will be responding. They say they want voters to know that the law remains in place for the upcoming election. In the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.